Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to know how you can quadruple your sexiness as a woman without changing who you are or going to the gym, stick around because I'll be sharing with you how to do just that in our episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I am so Fucking excited to be sharing with you how you can quadruple your sexiness as a woman today without changing who you are, without having to go to the gym to do this. Not nothing wrong with going to the gym, but you don't have to do that to create more sexiness in your life. And uh, there's a huge misconception going around that in order to be really sexy, you have to change your physical appearance. And nothing could be further from the truth, because at its core, sexiness really means the perception and the knowing you have about yourself as it is transmitted to the outside world without filters. When you know who you are and you can unapologetically transmit that to the world with no filters, the world perceives you as sexy. And it regardless of your physical appearance. Now, if you want to improve your physical appearance, that can help you to feel more confident. And I have nothing against that. But I do have a big fat problem with you trying to change your sexiness strictly by focusing your physical looks, okay? So the first concept that I really want you to understand, if you want to quadruple your sexiness today, where you don't have to change who you are and you can go onto the street and get a different kind of resonance with the world, is that there's two core levels of sexiness, okay? There's an instant burn kind of sexiness and there's a burning flame kind of sexiness. Now, a little confusing, let me discuss what this means. Instant burn kind of sexiness is a sexiness that people get to feel when they feel, basically they see something in their minds that resonates with what the world has taught them that sexy is. You put yourself in a very tight dress and you take a selfie and you get some instant attention from some guys, but that's the kind of sexiness that is not long lasting. Why is it not long lasting? Because it doesn't generate that deeper wanting to do something to get to know you aside from physical connection with you, AKA having sex with you, okay? There's another kind of sexiness that is far more profound and that's where you can show up in the world with such a strong sense of who you are that the world perceives you as sexy and treats you as a high value woman who is sexy. There's a big difference in being high value woman with sexy and just sexy woman with no high value. And not just in the way the world perceives you but also the way you feel about yourself. So the four steps I'm going to give you right now are very important to keep in mind in the context that the four steps that I'll give you are about the second kind of instant, not instant burn, but long lasting flaming, right? A flame, <laughs> a candle that burns and creates a sense of sexiness. The first one is I want to, if you really want to create a sense of sexiness in your body and you're not feeling it right now, rather than spending 30 minutes working out, which is cool if you want to do it, but I want you to spend 10 minutes appreciating and loving one part of your body one part, that's it. I know for some women to say, I um, love your body is like, wow, what's there to love? Because you, you're so critical of yourself. But there's always one part of yourself that you can love. Maybe it's your legs, maybe it's your eyes, maybe it's your smile, maybe it's your teeth, maybe it's your curves, maybe it's the way you walk, maybe it's the elegance that you have when you carry yourself around through the world. Anything that you feel is unique about you that day and the beautiful thing about being a woman is that every day you'll feel something different, right? You have this varying ocean of emotions that go inside of you that allow you to every single day, if you really focus on being present, connect to a different part of you. So go with that 10 minutes a day of loving and appreciating and being thankful and accentuating one part of you. And that part, because it's gonna be different each day, you'll start loving your entire body and the way you feel about your body matters because the way people feel about your body has a lot to do with the way you respect yourself and the way you carry around. So that's the first thing without which being sexy is gonna be really hard. Number two is I want you to walk through the world without apologizing. No apologies, stop holding back. Stop holding back what makes you unique, right? What makes you, you. A lot of women in this world today are walking around almost like waiting for the shoe to drop in the sense that not wanting to show themselves fully out of fear that they'll be discovered as a fraud <laughs> and people won't like them anymore. But guess what this does? When you walk around with a little bit of apologetic attitude, meaning you don't fully accept yourself, then you're telling people energetically, don't accept me because I don't accept myself. 
Now, I connect with a lot of women who are beautiful and could be really sexy, but they're not really shining out that way. And their friends and their mom and their everybody around them says, I can't believe you're single. I can't believe guys are not lining up uh, <laughs> in your doorstep to connect with you. And I usually, add, I mean, when I get into a conversation with them, it turns out that they don't feel that way about themselves. They don't feel like they have something special or amazing or attractive to share. And the world reacts accordingly, you know? So that's a, just stop apologizing for who you are and start carrying yourself the way you're meant to, especially the things that are unique about you that make you who you are. Number three, if you want to be sexier in the context of connecting to a man, then I want you to tune into his heart. There is nothing sexier than a woman who A, understands who she is, loves her body, loves herself, carries herself around with no apologies, with an open heart, and then has the ability and the capacity to tune into your heart and know what the hell is going on inside. So many women are so oblivious to what's the little nuances that make you a man, that make you different, that make you special. So when a woman comes around that has this amazing capacity, and this is something it's developed through practice. There's no magical key that I can give you to do this other than doing it enough times to where it becomes second nature to you. When you connect to a man and are able to tune into his heart and are able to feel what he's feeling and know what's going on, then he gets to start feeling completely different about you because he feels a sense of freedom that he rarely gets a chance to feel with all the women he connects with. So that makes him feel really special, resonant with you, and feels more attractive towards you. So that's very sexy for a man to be able to feel someone who has this high value, but also has the kindness, the generosity, the ability to tune into your heart. Fourth thing, do one thing each day that gives you a subtle feeling of edge, okay? Subtle feeling of edge could be something physical or it could be something emotional. And here's what I mean. Every single day, I want you to, if the shoes you're wearing are not making you walk a special way, change your shoes. If you want to wear a different kind of lipstick one day, if you want to wear... Now, it's not because the lipstick doesn't do anything for you other than you feel that little bit of an edge. Maybe it's the hair, maybe it's uh, your nails, or maybe it's a feeling of edge is going to be generated through doing something that's a little bit edgy in the sense of taking a risk. Doing something that used to scare you, but now you feel like you're going over the edge and taking a risk and doing that thing. That feeling of edge sustained throughout days. Sometimes it's through a physical attribute. Sometimes it's through your shoes. Sometimes it's through, through, through your hair that day. Sometimes it's through the thing you did the previous night where you connected uh, to someone or called a friend or did something that was scary but good for you that's giving you that feeling of edge. That also creates a feeling of sexiness because guess what? It's nurturing the side of you that is variety and that is adventure. And when you walk about in the world, again, energetically, it can be perceived. Now, some of you may, may hear this out and say, well, it's like too hocus pocus. I'm telling you right now, without a freaking question, because I've had women who have not had anyone knock on their door and anyone stop them in the street, who start doing the things that I'm telling you right now. And next day, they get three guys who stop them in the street and say, oh my God, you're so beautiful. And they've never had this happen before. So this stuff absolutely works. You have to be willing to try it. If you find that this is helpful, insightful, useful. I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or on the link right here on your screen, you're going to see a way for you to sign up to a free blueprint. It's a webinar. It's a blueprint that shows you how to find your soulmate in nine days or less. Super powerful stuff and it's free. And uh, if you have any questions for me, you can reply via a comment below here or in any of my videos and I promise to respond personally or create a video just for you. <laughs> Thank you.